Valletta was the European capital of culture in 2018 with a partner city in Holland called Leeuwarden. Since the city is so small, the festival included all of the Maltese islands with an aim to spread the impact throughout the whole Maltese economy. Malta has two languages, Maltese and English, although several other languages are widely spoken, including Spanish, Italian, French, and more recently, a fair amount of Russian. The Maltese language provides a real linguistic conundrum. Aside from the Maltese people themselves, hardly anyone speaks or can understand it, including me. In an effort to use that fact helpfully and as a part of the celebrations, the city created a series of statues designed to show that while the Maltese words in various sayings might not make sense in direct translation, they really all were linked to something that was similar in English. The statues proved to be quite controversial, as is almost all public art in all countries, mostly because they didn't come for free. In total, they cost a little less $100,000, and in my opinion, provided not just something interesting to photograph, but a bit of fun. The one you see here translates as, the weak can always overcome the mighty, and might well be the motto of this plucky country. I took these photos back in 2018 and haven't been able to get back to Malta since, although I am hoping to go back eventually. 
I haven't been able to find out whether any of our statues, there were 19 of them all together, so I only showed you a few, managed to survive. Although I suspect unless they were auctioned off to private bidders, somehow they didn't make it. And that fact makes me quite sad. The memory of lunch that day, however, goes a long way towards cheering me up. This place, Tico Tico, looked like a lot of fun. And although normally I don't go into bars, this one was operating in broad daylight, had pretty good ratings, and looked like it was going to be a lot of fun. So I made an exception. Tico Tico was pleasant, and although the reviews are somewhat mixed, reviews on Google always are, mostly because there's always someone determined not to have a good time, I wasn't one of those people. I walked out of there happy and satisfied. The first course, which you can see here, was a mixed appetizer plate, served with some variety of red wine that probably came out of a can. I bought a glass, not a bottle, and that was a huge mistake. I also got an order of Malta's national dish, rabbit, served rather decently with hot french fries and a small salad. Thank you for walking with me today and seeing a few of Malta's playful statues. Next time we'll explore downtown Valletta here on The Armchair Traveler. If you think this content is interesting or useful, please like, share, and subscribe. This will help the channel grow. Travel content often involves a lot of history, and history can be really word heavy, heavy enough that the details often don't make it into a video blog. If you care to dig deeper, you can visit my regular blog on WordPress, where you'll find deep dives, travel tips, reviews, warnings, and the nuts and bolts on how to travel safely and conveniently. If you'd like to keep up with my posts, you can follow me on Twitter. The addresses are on your screen.